How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection and we are back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. We have eight returns stacked up over here. As always, I hope your week's are starting off well. Your mailboxes are full and we're going to start in Tampa, Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida. This one feels a little heavy. We have Jabbar Gaffney. Got an index card in here as well. It is unsigned, which is just fine. Jabbar Gaffney. Very cool there. 2002 Bowman rookie card. Got him there in the 2010 tops. Got him there in the 2012 rookies and stars. And then the 2005 tops, which I think might be my favorite card. Jeez. I don't know. It's one of these two tops cards. Very nice looking. Jabbar Gaffney. I believe he was the second pick by the Houston Texans. David Carr, Derek's older brother, was the first pick for those Houston Texans back there in 2002. Putch Bargaffney had a great career at the University of Florida where he was a unanimous All-American, All-SEC, All-SEC -SEC, All Freshman of the Year award winner and the Paul Warfield Award winner. Again, drafted to the Houston Texans in 2002, second round, 33rd pick overall. After his time there, he went on to the New England Patriots, the Denver Broncos, the Washington Redskins, and the Miami Dolphins. He had 5,600 receiving yards in his NFL career with 24 touchdowns and 447 receptions. He got back to us four out of four, 29 days, Mr. Jabbar Gaffney. Usually I'd put a rookie card up, but hard to beat that 2005 tops. Wish more guys from that set would sign because it is a beautiful, clean looking set. But there you go, Jabbar Gaffney. Very nice. How about Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida? Let's stay there. That was not planned. We have, oh. Yes, Carlton Fisk rookie card completed. Sent it to Mike Garman first, um, Cecil Cooper second, and then now Carlton Fisk, and they all signed it in a thin blue. It almost looks like a stellar. It's beautiful looking autographs there from all three of these guys. Holy smokes, that is cool. Um, man, love that. Carlton Fist, though, he's 76 now. He hit 269 in his MLB career with 2,356 hits, 376 home runs, 1,330 runs batted in for the Red Sox and the White Sox. From 1969 to 1993, he was an 11-time All-Star, a Rookie of the Year Award winner, a Gold Glove Award winner, a three-time Silver Slugger. The Red Sox have retired as number 27. The White Sox have retired as number 72. It's part of the Red Sox Hall of Fame. And was inducted on his second ballot to the Baseball Hall of Fame in the year 2000. Not sure why he wasn't inducted in his first year. Because, man, those are some pretty incredible offensive numbers for a catcher. Mr. Carlton Fisk, he, uh, he had cancer ooh, probably 15 years ago now. And signs through a cancer foundation. Or I guess he, I think he actually signs through his home. But you make out a check to the Cancer Foundation and he sends it their way so that is a 50 dollar donation but we have a one-on-one -on -one success 11 days for mr carlton fisk great to get that rookie card complete someone said that their autograph it was go signed i well only one person's ever said that that i've ever seen everybody else i've seen they they send them off get them certified so not sure about that but i feel pretty confident carlton fisk Let's go to North Texas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Got a little, I don't know what that is. It's not blood. It's not blood. Let's get that straight. I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> All right, Cecil Turner. From a Cecil Cooper to a Cecil Turner. Got some ballpoint ink there on the 73 tops. That's 71. Beautiful looking set. I like his autograph. Very clean looking there. Mr. Cecil Turner. 
played his entire career with the Chicago Bears from 1968 to 1973 after being a fifth round pick out of Cal Poly. Believe it or not, Cal Poly, he was a track and field standout. I think actually before he got to Cal Poly, he, uh, he won the 1964 NCAA 100-yard dash title with a time of 9.5 seconds, which is super quick. That was all the way back in 1964, too. Um, but then transferred to Cal Poly to play football, got drafted by the Bears, and was a pro baller in 1970. He was a really phenomenal kick return specialist. He got back to his 2 out of 2 success, 32 days. Very cool-looking card there. Let's slide that 71 there. I've actually had these cards for a while and forgot about them. And didn't know if he still signed. Happy to see that he does. Very cool. Oh boy. That rookie card's going to get it. There we go. Got to keep that rookie card front and center. It's beautiful. How about West Palm Beach, Florida? Got a lot of Florida returns so far. And this one's uber thin. Oh, wow. That's cool. So 2005 Tops All-American Bob Greasy. Look how big that autograph is. Got him there while he's playing at Purdue. Man, that is cool. Nice blue ink. Bob Greasy, he's 79 years old now. First round pick, fourth overall in the 1967 draft out of Purdue to those Miami Dolphins. He was an incredible athlete there at Purdue, but with the Dolphins. He won two Super Bowls, was a six-time Pro Bowler, had in two AFL All-Star teams as well, played with them from 1967 to 1980, where they also retired as number 12, put him in their honor roll, I think is what they call it down there. But he had 192 touchdowns in his NFL career with 25,000 passing yards. Of course, uh, was the leader of that 17-0 team behind that trifecta run up trifecta at running back yeah behind him with jim kick larry zonka and mercury morris pretty incredible career he is a pro football hall of famer a college football hall of famer i mean he was two-time first team all big 10 i believe and a consensus all american there at purdue sammy ball trophy award winner as well and he got back to his one out of one success 27 days there was a time i think where he was taking years or oh, a year to sign now he is i don't know not too bad a month pretty good there for mr bob greasy let's go to san francisco california san fran is it danny tanner no it is john bocabella 1968 tops, really good looking autograph there from Mr. Bocabella, and a 64 rookie. I have sent to, I've gotten this completed before, Billy Cowan. Um, very nice there though, 64 tops rookie card with the 68 tops from Mr. Bocabella, who's 83 years old. He played for the Cubbies, the Expos, and the Giants from 1963 to 1974. As a backup catcher slash first baseman, he hit 219 in his MLB career with 26 home runs, 148 runs batted in. He got back to us. Two out of two success, 13 days. Very cool, Mr. Bocabella. I don't know if he'll fit over here or not. I'm going to slide that 68 tops up. Some of those 68 tops look really nice. Especially the think. Let's go to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. Look out, we got Clay Carroll on a 69 tops. That's a big blue signature there for Mr. Carroll. They said smile for the cameras. Oh, cool. 73 uh, leading fireman card. Now, Sparky Lyle signs. He was five bucks for a while. I don't know if he's 10 or 15 now. He went up though. Um, I haven't sent to Sparky Lyle in several years, I feel like. But. Might be worth looking into getting that card completed. But Clay Carroll, 83 years old as well. Played for the Braves, the Reds, the White Sox, the Cardinals, and the Pirates from 1964 to 1978. He won 96 games. He saved 143. He had a 294 career ERA with 681 strikeouts. Two-time All-Star in 71 and 72. 
Led the uh, NL in saves in 1972, as you see here with that leading fireman car. I think that's what those 43 points, 44 points. I'm not totally sure what that actually means. Um, but pretty cool. Okay. So saves plus wins. Not bad. Interesting way of doing it there, Tops. But also part of the Reds Hall of Fame and won, won a World Series with them in 1975. He got back to us two out of two. 12 days. He does have a $5 fee per. Very cool. I think I've sent to Clay Carroll twice now. He's got a really nice autograph, though. How about Oakland? Oakland, California. We have Mr. Kiko Garcia. That's a cool looking autograph. Never gotten him before. 85 tops. 84 tops. Very nice. Really like that 84. AKA it looks like 2023 tops almost. Eh, maybe not so much, but kind of. At least with a little floating head down there. He's 71 years old though. Played for the Orioles, the Astros, and the Phillies from 1976 to 1985. So these are his last couple cards there for Mr. Garcia. Hit 239 in his MLB career with 12 home runs, 112 runs batted in. Not too bad for a backup middle infielder. Got back to his two out of two success in 16 days. Slide these over here. Last one, Denver. Denver, Colorado. I believe it's already snowing. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's, let's see here. Ah, index card. Blank index card. What do we got here? Yep, blank index card. We got Ty Block, though, who pitched for the Rockies this year. So, Denver, there you go. He's actually from Denver. That's a 2015 Bowman Chrome, first Bowman. And that's a 2018 Topps Gallery. He has a really nice looking autograph. Of course, a couple of Bible verses down there. Gotta like that. You got the first Bowman, you got the rookie card. Ty Block, though, he's 34 years old now. Pitched for the Giants, the Orioles, and the Rockies. Um, he was a fifth round pick in the 2012. MLB draft to those Giants. I if it says, I gotta say it back here. It took him a few years to get his own first card, though. Yep, 178th overall. Made his way through the minors. Has been pitching, really, for the Rockies, his hometown team. He, he primarily pitched, though, with the Giants. He had some early-on success, but has struggled as of late. He's won 23 games, though, in his MLB career. With 293 strikeouts, 504, a 5-4-2 ERA. He got back to us two out of two, 30 days. If you're looking for a current player or to get some of these newer cards signed, Ty Block is your guy. How about that? Eight returns, football and baseball, a couple Hall of Famers. Not going to beat that triple signed uh, 72 tops rookie, though. Very nice. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.